Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, IDKit01. This is the username you're using at my Voxipop uh, discussion group. And you just posted your pronunciation pretest. And I am Michael Buckoff, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IVT. So, in this video to you, I want to do two things. IDKit. Number one, I'm going to recommend some lessons in the pronunciation area of my course that you want to focus on in order to improve your pronunciation. Number two, I'm going to give you a score on a scale of one to seven so you can see how close to being a native speaker you are with your pronunciation and speaking of American English. Alright, so let's talk about one. Here are the lessons that you want to focus on in my course. Lesson number 8, number 10, number 11, number 14, 16, 17, 19, 23, and also lesson number 24. Now, of course, you want to go through all of my pronunciation lessons, but really pay attention to the ones that I just listed, because those are your weak areas with your vowel and your consonant sounds right now. All right, two. Let's talk about your pronunciation. I'm going to give you a score now. And uh, let me go ahead and click on the rubric here for just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. So on a scale of 1 to 7, 7 being a native speaker, 1 being a beginner, high beginner of English, I'm going to put you in the 3 area, 3.3 3 out of 7. And you can click on the link in this discussion thread to learn more about your intelligibility. But to, to make a long story short, you have a very strong, heavy, non-native speaker accent. You sometimes have problems with your vocabulary and your grammar. For example, you may leave out words. You might say, it's important me to learn English, instead of saying, it's important for me to learn English. So sometimes you leave out words. Sometimes you're not sure about the right word to use. And it's a little bit difficult to understand what you're saying. Now, I'm glad you like my course. I think you can see that I have many lessons in seven different areas. This is how I design my course is to help you improve with your vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, your listening, reading, writing, and speaking areas. Now, you've already started with your pronunciation pretest. Now, keep posting. You want to now start posting independent and integrated speaking practice tests so you can get more feedback from me in those areas. Now, also, don't forget, I know that you want to get a high score to clear your TOEFL requirement for your pharmacy license. So you want to also begin posting independent and integrated writing practice tests. Again, getting more feedback from me. So little by little, and with your practice and your hard work, you will begin to improve. But it's going to take a while. I know that you want to get 26 on the speaking. Uh, I would not expect any big improvements in the next 30 days, you probably will need to keep working over several months for you to reduce your accent, to have better control over your vocabulary and your grammar if you want to reach that 26. Now, in addition to using my course, I also recommend, like I always tell all students, engage in a regular routine of reading and listening every day, about an hour reading, an hour listening. Uh, also, talk to native speakers as much as you can and find opportunities each week to watch movies in English. This is also good. A lot of students that I've worked with who scored high on the TOEFL exam told me that they did watch movies on a regular basis before taking the test. Alright, anyway, thank you very much and uh, I'm glad to have you as one of my students. Remember, I am only an email away whenever you have questions Simply send me an email, and I will answer you in a timely manner. My email address is mbuckhoff at aol.com. You can send me messages there. All right, anyway, thank you very much. Have a great day.